What's up, everybody? I hope you enjoy that montage of clips from the Wave camera. I actually have it right here next to me. Yeah, I just wanted to just talk about my experience using it because I actually used this on a production shoot for a client. They were on board of using this. This was actually a, a completely new thing for me using just a, a high-end but yet still budget-friendly high-speed camera. And some things I like about it, one, it is very small. Now, obviously it doesn't look small because how I rigged it up naturally. So this camera came as a native Sony E-mount. So I got an adapter for E-mount to locking EF because I have just EF glass. And so I used the Zeiss 50 Milvis, the 18-35 Cine. Yeah, this is a very simple camera to use. Like you have one dial, on and off button, and record. That's all you need. So the commercial that I shot have variable frame rates. So we used 180 frames up to 420 frames. So it was kind of using both worlds, going super slow or just going slow enough uh, to get the detail shots that we wanted. Some of the things that actually make this workflow for this camera quite nice is that it has an internal two terabyte storage drive. So you don't have to worry about SD cards or CFast cards or CFast Express cards. It's all internal. Um, as well as a built-in battery. And so even though I did power this off of DTAP just so I don't have to plug into the wall or just kind of have continuous power going, if the battery did die, it had the internal battery and I just plug in another one and then it kind of charges it and kind of goes from there. So that's really nice to have from this camera. No, I didn't have actually the Cinebloom filter on there because again, we wanted a very crisp and clean image, which this camera did deliver. Now this doesn't have log or anything, which was okay. It made the editing process a little bit easier to just tweaking. It would have been nice to have log, but again, since you're shooting at such high frame rates, you need a ton of light. And if you don't have enough light, this sensor does show its pattern here and there, but it's easy cleanup in DaVinci Resolve with a little denoiser, which I did. And uh, the images turned out great. So yeah, I, hey, if you guys want to get your hands on this, by all means, try it out. It's worth it. Um, I actually hope I could keep this a little bit longer because I have some more ideas I want to shoot. Anyway, I catch you guys on the next one. Check out the links in the description. And uh, yeah, peace.